Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate guide to farming ghosts and the only one you actually need. So before we get into it, just, you know, like and subscribe because algorithm and number get bigger. Cool. Okay, so on with the guide. Now, I do want to say this first. If you are not on Iron Man and you cannot one-shot ghosts or you have to use a warden helmet to one-shot ghosts, don't farm ghosts. It's a waste of your time. It is not great for money and also using a warden helmet kills rates and should give you way too much damage. Just use a tarantula helmet, please. Bruh. Approved. Okay, so the first piece of the puzzle or the setup in this case is going to be your weapon. Now, in the background footage that you're seeing now, I'm currently using a dark claymore that's basically hypermaxed but it can use a few upgrades. They're really expensive and no point because I can still one-shot them with Vulsara. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Stop! So, the first weapon that you would use for grinding ghosts is going to be a giant sword. Now, preferably the giant sword would be tier 6 enchanted and preferably having the enchants prosecute over execute uh, first strike over triple strike and siphon over lifesteal. These are just because first strike and prosecute deal more damage on the first hit. Siphon gives you, you know, health, which is great when you're using armor sets like Sorrow that don't have a lot of EHB. Therefore, you can survive longer and you can see whenever I get hit and kill a mob, my health goes back up to full and it's great. Now the first set that you would use if you can barely one-shot ghosts will be three-fourths crimson armor with a tarantula helmet. Now the base of crimson matters because obviously the higher tier the more damage you do. And at this point I would probably guess that you're doing around 600 to 700,000 damage. And you would need to dominus ability from the crimson armor to then one-shot the ghosts semi-effectively and on your armor you want the reforge of ancient with just the basic enchantments grow five prop five it should be fine that 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 is all i have on my sorrow and the other ghost grinding pieces that i have with uh the crimsons and things like that you don't need an ultimate enchant unless you're farming with a whole bunch of afk people i don't know just don't get an ultimate enchant uh on your weapon you want soul eater because once you kill a mob uh, you will gain their soul in your weapon and that will just deal a whole bunch of damage depending on how much health the mob you just killed has and since these are ghosts they have a million HP and it will deal quite a bit more damage. You, If you were paying attention at the very beginning of this clip when I dropped down into the ghost into the mist and I hit my first ghost I didn't one shot it that's because the soul eater didn't proc because I haven't killed a mob yet in this lobby. Now, the reason that I suggest the tarantula helmet is because of its radioactive ability. It allows you to convert um, strength into crit damage, and although it caps out at 100 strength, 100 strength is still amazing, especially if you're using a giant sword because it has a decent amount of crit damage as well. Now, going back to the giant sword quickly, I just want to mention the reforge that you need on it. You would want withered for more consistent damage, but fabled, I guess. No, fabled just doesn't work. Just, just, just stick with withered. Now, now onto the part where you actually grind ghosts. Now, in this clip, you'll see that I'm barely ever stopping. Like, I, I will never just let go of W, but you'll notice that I'm strafing quite a lot. And this is just to make it more efficient and just kind of make everything feel nicer as well because you don't stop. And also try to avoid going backwards since it's less efficient. But sometimes if you hit a ghost, if you go backwards, it's all right. Now let's talk about the money. Now, the money is very, very different for people. If your setup is basically maxed, you can make 40 to 50 mil an hour. If your setup's like mine and it's kind of semi-maxed, 
then you get around 30 to 35 mil an hour and if it's just kind of basic my guess would be around 15 to 20 million coins per hour now this is assuming you have like bare, bare bones basic magic find and um and kill speed but yeah now on your island you should have a beacon and um, this beacon will grant you plus five magic find if it's on tier five and you can enable it in this clip which i'm doing now and you just you just gotta make sure it's powered you buy power crystals from the bazaar and then you can just put them where the furnace is when you right click on the beacon to open up the gui and it gives an extra five magic find which if you're using renowned then you can get an extra percent of that which is like 0 0.05 but it's fine don't worry about it so that is like the uh the mid game of the ghost grinding uh the ghost grinding adventures now i'm not going to go to end game because i am not there and i don't know much about it however i will go over my setup and the setup that more people can use than uh the uh, end the end game setup but yeah so the, so the setup i'm using is the late game setup with a claymore that is basically max it's got every tier 7 except uh first strike 5 which i know it's an extra 25 percent damage but i really don't want to spend like 300 mil on first strike 5 next i have three quarters uh renowned sorrow and one quarter ancient sorrow i have flawless jaspers in all of my weapons and armor just because perfects are so expensive and i can get them but i really don't want to dig into my g-drag bank for now now, I know this video is quite short, but it's fine because there's also one more section, which is the pet. Now, what, what pet should you be using? People say that lion is great. It is if you're struggling to one-tap them, but it's it's a foraging pet, so it will not level up fast at all. Um, the pets that I recommend is if you're struggling to one-tap them, you can use something like a tiger, because it has ferocity as well. Uh, if you can't one-shot them yet with your crimson, you might be able to get some ferocity ticks as well. And if you're and if you can one-tap them comfortably, and you have some extra money to spare, I know it's a lot, but a, leveling a golden dragon is preferable. As you can see in this clip, I have a level 153 golden dragon that I'm currently leveling to 200. My estimation is that I'll probably get it to level 200 by the uh, by the beginning of August, maybe late July. If I go at it as I'm going at it now, it could be sooner, but I'm lazy, so probably not. And I guess if you want some extra magic find and some kind of, I don't know, extra speed for some reason... If you're comfortable uh, uh, grinding at 500% speed and you can one-shot them, hey, Black Cat is fine, I guess. But it's just, I don't know, not ideal. And when using a G-Drag, I would probably recommend at least like 10 mil gold collection. I have 100 mil, but you can get 10 mil if you are lazy like me. But yeah, that's basically everything I have to say during this video. So... If you liked the ghost grinding guide, make sure to like and subscribe for more epic content because this is truly, truly amazing. Um, yeah, I will see you next week with another uh, average video from Dollars. Yes, I will see you next week.